Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we have seen previously what do you mean by the unsteady state and what do you mean by the lumped heat capacity analysis. Let us solve few problems based on it. Let us read a problem which was asked in May 17 in the Mumbai University. The problem says an egg with a mean diameter of 47 mm and initially at 18 degrees Celsius is placed in a boiling water pan for 4.5 minutes and found to be boiled to the customer's test. For how long should a similar egg for the same consumer be boiled taken from the refrigerator at 4 degrees Celsius? Take the following property for the egg. Verify whether the lumped heat capacity analysis can be used or not. They have given us the thermal conductivity, then the density, the value of Cp and the heat transfer coefficient. Now let us start solving the given problem. First of all, let us understand it, what they have given. They have given that some egg is there with a certain mean diameter of 45 mm. Its initial temperature they have given as 18 degrees Celsius and they are saying that they have kept the egg in the boiling pan for 4.5 minutes and at the end of it the consumer find the taste of the egg as good one. So we can imagine that or we need to find out the temperature at that state. In the second case they are saying that if the same egg is taken out from the refrigerator at 4 degrees Celsius then what should be the time for which it should be cooked so that it will have the same taste means so that it will have the same temperature. They are asking us to verify whether the lumped heat capacity analysis is useful or not. So let us start it. We consider a pan. So let us say this is my system which is egg, they have given the diameter as 445 mm, then the initial temperature is 18 degrees Celsius is what they have given. So initially the egg was outside the pan and then they have put it inside. Then the time required for the egg to be cooked as per the consumer test is let's say they have given as 4.5 minute which is 4.5 into 60 that comes around 270 seconds. So this is your T1. And then at the end, let's say the temperature reaches to T1. And this is what they are asking us to find out that at the end of time T1, what is the temperature? Then in the second case, they are asking that if they want the same temperature T1, then corresponding to the same temperature T1, what should be the time 2 if the initial temperature is 4 degrees Celsius? So in this case, now they have taken the egg out from the refrigerator. Then they have given us all the other parameters such as the density, thermal conductivity, heat transfer coefficient. I will not let it write it let, because we have the numbers in the question itself. They are asking us to verify if the lumped heat capacity analysis is verified. So we know that we need to find out the biot number. Now what is biot number? We know it is given as HL upon K, where L is nothing but LC. So this is the value of LC is given as the volume upon area. Now this is the characteristic length is what they have given us. Now what is the volume of sphere? It can be given as 4 by 3 pi r cube upon the surface area is 4 pi r square. 
so this way the value of lc that we are getting is r by 3 since they have given us the diameter with this we can find out the radius as let's say 45 by 2 mm now if i put this number in the equation what do we have they have given us the value of h as 100 the value of lc is r by 3 where r can be taken as 45 by 2 upon the value of k they have given is 10 so the byte number that we are getting is 0 0.075 now we know the condition that if pivot number is less than 0.1 then the lumped heat capacity method is applicable. In this case since the value of biot number that we are getting is 0 0.075 which is less than 0 0.1 we can easily apply the lumped capacity analysis for the given problem. So we know that if the lumped capacity analysis is applicable then we can write down the equation that is T minus T infinity upon Ti minus T infinity is equal to e raised to h a upon rho c v into t. In the same equation, let us substitute all the number for the first case and let us find out what value we are getting. Let me write the same equation that is t minus t infinity upon t i minus t infinity is equal to e raised to minus h a upon rho c v into time t now in this case they have given us the time t now this is t1 which is in our case is 4.5 minute which is 270 seconds we have the value of h the area can be given as 4 pi r square and the volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube the density and the cp value is given in the question itself the t infinity now T infinity in our case will be 100 degrees Celsius that is the boiling temperature of water at one atmospheric pressure then we know the T infinity we know the Ti value we can easily find the value of T so let us substitute the numbers then what do we have T minus 100 upon the Ti that is the initial temperature they have given is 18 degrees Celsius. Now let us put the number. The value of H is 100. Now we know that the volume upon area was R by 3. So we can use this correlation and we can simply substitute here that A by volume will be 3 by R. So I can write this as 3 divided by the density they have given is 1200 0, 0. the value of cp is 2 multiply by we can write down the radius over here the radius is 45 by 2 so i will put it 2 over here into 10 raised to minus 3 and the time the time is obviously 270 seconds so again in this equation the only unknown that we are having is t here so the value of t that we are getting at the end of this exercise is 81.703 degrees Celsius. now this is the first case where they have we have found that this is the temperature which suits to the consumer's test so if this is the case or this is the scenario then we can find that for the same temperature what is the time t2 when the ti itself is 4 degrees celsius so what we are going to do we are going to use the same equation here and we are going to find out the value of t instead of the value of capital t so let us do it so we have 
the capital T as 81.703 minus this is obviously 100. Now in the second case, the value of Ti will be 4 degrees Celsius minus 100 is equal to E raised to minus the value of H is obviously 100 multiplied by the A by volume is 3 by R. So let me write this 3 itself over here. And in the denominator, we have density as 1200. Zero, zero. The value of Cp is 2 multiplied by, let us write down the R, that is 45 by 2. So let us put 2 over here into 10 raised to minus 3. That's it. And then finally, we have to write down the value of T2. Now, how to solve this? Obviously, we can solve this by using the mathematical expression called log. So let us take the log of both sides. So we have here ln of 81.7 minus 100 upon 4 minus 100 is equal to minus 100 into, I can cancel out these two, 1200 into 45 multiplied by 10 to 3 into T2. So if I substitute all the numbers from the previous cases, then I will end up getting into this expression over here. Now in this expression, the only unknown that we are having is T2. So if I solve this, then the value of T2 that we are getting is, let me write here itself, the value of T2 that we are getting is 298 seconds. Now again, let us come back to the problem. In the problem, they had asked us to verify whether the limited capacity analysis is used or not. So the answer is obviously used because the biot number that we got was less than 0.1. And then they asked us to find out the value of temperature which suits the consumer test. And then second, in the second case, when the egg is taken out from the refrigerator at 4 degrees Celsius, the time that comes out is around 298 seconds. In this problem, we have tried to use the limited capacity analysis. Thank you for watching this video. Please stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.